Hey folks, Jonathan here. I'm here with Noah. We came to look at a frame and we're going to do a little contest on this thing. Uh, not for a prize, but just for the heck of it. I want to see if somebody can ID this frame. I had a tough time trying to figure it out, but I did because I wasn't familiar with one. But Dana 44 rear end, big five lug pattern like a Ford, five on five and a half. I think it's five and a half, yep. Uh, boxed in frame. Totally boxed. Two piece dry shaft. Has a chrome bumper on the back. And it's not a step bumper. And this would have had the bell housing mounts for the transmission. But it's got torsion bar suspension on the upper A frame, which is what threw me off. I don't know if anybody is familiar with them. And then the body actually mounted up with one bolt in the center. Has a Saginaw power steering gearbox. Drum brakes all the way around, so that puts it somewhere in the late 60s, early 70s. Uh, it did have a dual stage master cylinder though, because it's got a proportionate valve with two lines. And of course the chrome bumper on the front. So tell me what you think it is. It kind of stumped me there for a little bit, but we got it figured out. And uh, I'll let you know what it is here at the end of the video. Okay, we're here to pick up an old truck. A truck that I had got picked up a long time ago or bought a long time ago. Now we're going to try to get it out of here on an 8.2 diesel. It does have air brake? Yeah, look on the shipper. Okay, so I'm going to have to move it. I'm going to have to go to the back. That or we're going to be caging the brakes. That ain't, that's two speed rear end. That's what? That's two speed rear end, that's not air brakes. Watch out for that stick in the door. Sorry. It ain't got air brakes. Okay, we don't have any air brakes. We've got a hydraulic brakes. So we're going to hook it up and see if it's going to roll or not. Hopefully it will. We don't have far to go, so we'll see what happens. Probably had a caliper bat. Somebody had a caliper bat and they stuck that on the piece one. It's real safe. Let's go around the axle and then hook it back, back to itself. Trying to work in the trees here. Didn't bring no chainsaw. I have no idea if there's anything in this thing. Yeah, it looks like it's probably loaded full of crap. Alright. Keep it. A lot of my cables off. Up in there, make sure it's in neutral. No. All right, I don't think it's working.
And there she is. I had zero problems pulling that thing out. Vice grips on the brake hose, and here's why. They wore out so far that they got into the rotor and cut it up. Would you look at that? That's not safe. At all. That'd be, that'd be all right on a little Honda, but. On a Honda, yeah. Air tank. Air hose real, air tank. Air compressor, no motor. Brand new tire in the back. Uh -oh. Spinning too free. Oh, really? Don't think it's worth it, correct? Okay, folks, I got this unhooked and got the hood open. Still got a lot of weeds growing in it. I don't know how long it's been since it's been on the road. It shows 05 on the sticker, but it could have been after that. Uh, engine was supposed to have been replaced and I do see a, re a remanufactured Detroit sticker right back there 8.2 don't know if you can see it or not let me see if I can zoom in on it a little bit right there that's the reman sticker so engine supposed to be a real low mile uh, master cylinder was taken off uh, you know I, I already know we of course already know it had some brake issues but uh, we will probably do a first start on this truck and figure out what we're going to do. Uh, I was trying to see the turbo. I don't. I think all these are turboed, but I didn't see the turbo up on top like I normally do. They either have it tucked up in there really good or or something. Let me see if I can get up under and see from the other side. Because normally they're right at the back of the intake, but that exhaust looks like it goes out a long way. So I'm beginning to think maybe this is. A non-turbo 8.2, which I didn't know they made. Yeah, I do not see a turbo on this thing. I guess I can get back up there and look at the intake pipes, figure it out. It does have a five speed. We've also got to figure out where the batteries go. It's got dual saddle tanks. And I have no clue if they had the batteries in one of the toolboxes or, or what they done. I'm not real familiar with an 8.2. Uh, just toolboxes over here, so no batteries here. So I haven't, uh, I haven't really, you know, had a chance to do much on one. Uh, don't see it as being an issue. Well, I'm sitting here looking at the air cleaner now. It's a non-turbo engine which I had thought and know I'm wrong now that all 8.2's were turbo so it's a new one on me I guess you could put a turbo on I sure don't understand where they had the battery at okay now they got the batteries hit from me I couldn't find the turbo because it wasn't there I can't find the batteries they're probably not there but I'm going to figure out where they had them at Ah, okay, batteries were up here. You can see the cables coming through. So we'll see if we can't get some batteries in it. See if she'll fire. I see an extra rotor laying in the back there. I don't know if that was for the front right or what. She'll need one. This had a crane also on it at one time. Pretty short wheelbase for a service truck. But... Like I said, I, I have no clue what I'm going to do. We may yank the engine, transmission, do something with it, put it up, save it. I just don't know. But uh, anyway, I'm going to do some research, of course, and I'll, I'll probably know everything there is I need to know about the non-turbo 8.2 before I even post this. But 
I just assumed that all of them were turbo for some reason. And the turbo usually sits right in the center. Back there. So anyway, at least we'll get it fired up and see what it'll do. We'll do no stopping with it, so we'll just leave the tire flat. Anyway, the frame that we went to look at is actually an international frame. And I don't know if it's a Scout or a Travoil or a pickup, but it was a, a two-wheel drive, whatever it was. And uh, which is kind of odd to see that set up. I don't remember seeing it before, you know, the torsion bar, and I don't know what years I used it. But uh, it definitely had it, so uh, I don't know if I'm going to grab that frame up or not. I may grab it and just put it in the in the hoard to maybe save for something later. I like the way it was built. I'm wondering if somebody got all the fuel out of it. But uh, Noah thought this was air brake. He seen the switch on the shifter, which I totally understand because uh, his dad paints a lot of trucks and does a lot of work on trucks. Uh, you know, body work and getting them ready for sale, for selling and for another guy. And uh, I guess he's used to seeing the switches on the, the shifters and just assumed that was air. That's actually the electric for a uh, two-speed rear end. And uh, anyway, a couple oil filters. So. We'll check this thing out and see what it does and I'll, you know, we'll see if it'll run. Got some nice doors. Actually really nice doors, which will fit on a half ton truck. Yeah, no rust at all on that one. I don't think there's any dents either, just going to have the holes for the mirrors. Let me see. Yeah, this other one's about the same. I don't see any dents. No rust, just the mirror holes. Yeah, them, them will work on a, on a half-ton pickup truck. Uh, they are the newer 82 up because of this curve right here. And also the glass is thinner. Uh, if you put a older glass in this newer door, it, it'll be so tight in the weather stripping, uh, in the felt in there, it will not roll up and down right. If you put an, a newer one in the old truck, it'll flop. And then uh, the corner windows, or the wing windows, came up to a point on the uh, old trucks. And they're rounded off at the top on the newer newer ones. So pretty easy to spot. Uh, they've done that about, I think, the same time they changed the hoods to the shorter hoods on the half-ton trucks. And uh, anyway, so uh, maybe somebody's looking for a couple of good doors. I didn't look at the bottom of this. Yeah, a little bit of paint off of it, but there's no rust. So, about as good as you'll find, I guess. So, we may part it. Anyway, I sure appreciate everybody watching and uh, watch for the first start on this one very soon. All right, bye.